still be a refreshing change of pace from Orbok to Cubot. They are your creations, like me. That would make them like... my brothers? Hmm. I suppose so. Keeping those six maniacs in check. I control those powers with the conch. Eat you alive. Please. Idiot. Get me more aliens. People look at me like I'm an idiot. Forget about it. That's because you are an idiot. You're a special kind of idiot, you bot. Did I not say best two out of three? No, boss, you didn't. I'm sure I did. And shut up, you worthless tin can. Is it weird that I get jealous when I see the boss hanging out with other robots? Very weird, considering he can't stand you. I then had the brilliant idea to use my discovery to undo my previous defeats. If we don't find your friend, can I be your sidekick? What? Shut up! What kind of question is that? I just thought it might be better to work for you than Eggman. Hello, I'm sitting right here, you know. Orbot, no matter what happens, I won't fail again. I will save Tails. It's stuff like that that makes me want to be your sidekick. Tails is lucky. But seriously, I'm right here. I can still hear you. What's wrong with my mustache?
You insolent bucket of bolts! That metal monstrosity just ruined my entire Grand Prix! Useless bolt brain! Deactivate! <laughs> you automated idiot! Deactivate! Watch out, you metal moron! Aim more carefully! <laughs> my shiny shadow! They beat you? How can they beat you, Metal Sonic? It's better that you can't talk. Any words out of your mouth would just make me angrier. Your big brother, E101 Beta, is there practicing. Enter, Gamma! You're not as advanced as Beta is, but you'll do fine. What is this? I'm so disappointed, you useless machine! Come forth, Beta! I'd like you to meet your older brother, E101. Just call him Beta. I am pitting the two of you against each other, and the winner serves on my ship. I hereby grant Gamma permission to serve on board the Egg Carrier. What? So you want to come along with us, eh? Okay, okay. We could always use a spare set of parts, I guess. Dummies, 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 dummies! None of you got the right one! All you worthless hunks of junk, be gone! This is the wrong room. I never really knew my cousin Maria. But I have to wonder, back then, was she anything like Sage is now? Doctor, please tell me. I need to know about my past. Who am I? What am I doing here? <laughs> are you still wondering who you are, Shadow? There's nothing to tell, Shadow. You have no past. What? Don't listen to it. He's just trying to trick you. Doctor, please. I need to know. Those androids. The ones that look like me. Am I? Yes. What? You and Omega are my creations. But you betray me as you stand here before me. So now, I will destroy you both, turning you into scrap metal!
coming around to Sage as a person in his mind. And then finally the key turn for his character where he rationalizes that of course he can create life. He's a genius. And of course she's his daughter because he's the genius who made her. And of course he's proud of her because he's her daughter. She's his daughter. (laughs) Just the bombastic level of, you know, self-actualization you know it's you, you kind of are happy for him because this you know love it's a good emotion but it's tempered by the fact that it's all about him still this is a mad scientist being super happy with his frankenstein monster it's <laughs> it's not you're supposed to feel a little bit happy that you know he's come to this realization for sage's sake but it's also a little unsettling because he's a bad person and he's kind of warming up to this idea for all the wrong reasons. We've had a great time, and we hope you have too. Be sure to smash that like, comment, and subscribe button.